lot. Look, I mean, yeah, here's the deal. So I, I've done a lot of research into this. I mean, laws would be okay because they're everywhere. Like M16s and shit, like yeah. if they find a shit ton of case mags and then reports of like, you know, guys dressed up in black. So, for example, last week they think that the militia have some sort of like military back commando based off of whispers of – you know, from like two dudes because only two dudes saw you. So they're keeping it under advisement. But, you know, the more exposure you get because of the more people you leave alive that see you. Hmm. I don't know what's dropping for them. But, yeah, things are all right on my end. <clears throat> yeah, I would agree. But... We gotta coordinate with what he had. Look on the map, they uh have huh? Oh shit. Well What happened with him? What do you mean what happened with him? We had a nice little chat. We're not sure if he's still alive or unconscious, but that's besides the point. How are nice you doing? Little... Nice chat, there's a fucking battery next to him with uh, some plugs. It was a nice chat. Anyway, are we going to bicker or are we going to talk about what needs to be done? <laughs> oh, Alright. So, here is the deal. Let me open my map. Okay, so looking over, we've got quite a few things that could go on today. Uh, mainly, I've got five different things we could do. <laughs> so, um, I'll cut to the chase. Uh, I'm with the uh, Syndicate sect leader here. He's going to be chilling with me. Uh, the... Soviets, uh, what they, oh yeah, they hit your base last week. That kind of sucks. So he's trying to divert everything among us because of, uh, all of his shit's compromised. So, uh, he does have a POW to move though. Uh, while they were hitting his base, uh, he currently has that POW garrisoned by a few dudes over at, uh, grid ref 044065. I'll, uh, throw a marker down on that. It's going to be green dot. Uh, but it's uh, basically around that area. He says he has them in some buildings nearby uh, with some of his men, but uh, we're not sure if they're being trailed or not. But if you uh, grab him, we can get even more intel. We can get some uh, pretty... Uh, we can get another operation to do a week temporarily. Uh, now, in terms of intel uh, gathering, I have another possible op, thanks to uh, Fudgehead McGee over there. Uh, within this little box, I have uh, 155 Coyote Radio. Uh, if you want, a second possible mission we can do, if I open up my map again, it'll be to marine it and plant it on a radio tower, checking on my map over here. That is going to be at grid ref, let me think, uh, 034024. I'm going to mark it with a red circle uh, right on the radio tower. Uh, higher you climb on that radio tower the better signal we'll get to intercept their communications and we can get better operations in the future uh just note that the ops i'm now going to give you uh are from soviet intel but you know they're probably going to change their shit after they realize their freaking spec op boys get captured so that radio tower at least get us better better intel overall until they maybe figure out what's wrong but i highly doubt it Anyway, uh, those are for gaining intel uh, for future operations. Just do note, we do not have the ability to conduct an operation tomorrow, so the Soviets will uh, likely do a policing action and open a new front somewhere. But we have people to manage. So, uh, if you want to instead help us out, I've got three possibilities. The uh, first area is based on intel we captured. I will mark this with a red flag over at grid ref. Let's see. I'm going to move that up slightly. Yeah. All right. Right there. Uh, 050017. Uh, we believe that is a vehicle cache site uh, for, what is that? Urals, AAA positions. Uh, I will say we lost quite a few on our... Uh, venture last week so we definitely need to get some more of that uh, another operation you could consider is what we believe to be a vehicle cash site i will put that at a pickup marker 047025 uh we didn't get what type of vehicle or how many but all we know before uh 
auntie over there passed out was uh, there's a good chunk of vehicles over there. And then finally, um, if you notice, we have some AKs now, but that's only from an operation we did last week. Um, based on how many Soviets we killed, that's already starting to run low. We believe that there is another cache of vehicles close by their airbase over in the town of Kobarad. Grid Rev 033033, and that is marked with a red square. Just do note that is right next to their airbase, so that's probably going to be the closest one uh, they hit. But I think they're uh, in gases or something. But either way, if you capture vehicles, all you got to do is you got to bring them either north to Airport Bovec over at our um, green flag marker. We'll have guys there to take care of it, or uh, FOB Brown. Again, we'll have guys to take care of it. Or you could go extract the uh, Fudgehead McGee there. He might stay there for another week, but his intel might not be as good. I don't know. You do you, but anything would be appreciated. I gotta be careful because I have this guy kind of looking out in the distance. And I just saw him, Skyline. But he might see him and might begin engagement, so... Just saw movement behind that uh, bush, but this guy has a fucking tree in his way. Or it could bring the tower down, which is even worse. But if there's uh, first contact, I'm gonna have this BTR drive out immediately to uh, stay out. I don't think Tootie's here. Uh, to ask a general question, does a modded Arma suffer from the too many unique Staying assets fun you see in modded Minecraft? Out. I wouldn't know about Here's modded Minecraft, mine but yeah, um, if you have too much unique <laughs> shit, you can kind of overdo it at some points. It's an act. It's an act. It's an Just heard a gunshot. I think one of these guys went up and shot him. They're only on 50-50 everything right now. Because I haven't done any global skills, so that would be default spawning. Yeah, so they're hearing it's shots from this guy. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. Repeat, go south to waterfront. Oh, he doesn't have fuel, that's why, because I got all the fuel in the fix. Alright. And here it all goes. So BTR is going to move out, start wondering what's going on. Machine gunner fires off. So what we're going to have end up happening is I'm going to... I'm going to have to set up squads or some sort of QRF to come in. So he just backed away back into this place and trying to move him back. But uh, I think what I'll do is... Um, Invisible. I gotta make sure I don't use the cup one. Okay. Actually, it would be even better if I did uh, that one. Because that's a vanilla asset. They will follow that one. Uh, reinforcements. I'm just uh, I'm gonna rely on the reinforcement command to uh, do this for me. They are engaging. These guys are coming up to fire back. And Bad Wolf gets shot. By that dude. It doesn't look like anyone's desyncing either. And BTR is trying to push around. But they only have three dudes and uh, two dudes. So I'm just pulling that up. I'm not going to have the QRF come in. I'm going to wait a few minutes. To uh, mobile, realistically mobilize that. As is down right here. And Drews is up. Looks like that RPG missed. Yeah, so he gets some. It just 
They're using su oh, that's right. They're using suppressors with subsonic ammo. It's gonna take like six to ten bullets to kill dudes with that. But holy crap, this is falling apart. Ay ay ay. This ain't it, Chief. Uh, this is that's this is bad. This is very bad. Wake up! You took a shit ton of bullets, though. I don't know why they put two dudes up here. Like, I guess to stop the QRF, but they didn't fucking. They did not figure this one out. I mean, he's gotten thermal barrack rock, and then I'll probably cook off a of BTR-60. And Drews is down here. He's also bandaging. And Malin is trying to pick up this guy and run things out. So this guy is going to run back down here. So Andrews is still bandaging. They're probably on net trying to figure things Pussy out. Malin back up. Malin's trying to get himself situated and got another minute and I'm going to bring a helicopter over. Hey, fun, but it's on your RS HG. The BTR-60 is here because of what happened in the last incorrection, uh, insur insurrection. Where is it currently? I don't have in-game sound because of stuff. Pretend he got in somehow. Well. I guess at some point, one of the CIA dudes was going to get captured. Giving them an opportunity to blow me up. But yeah, at that base, it was nine dudes in a BTR-60. <coughs> so a GP-25 would have been able to kill it. Uh, I should have extracted him by now, so. i take the back way in the base. Yeah, so Bad Wolf was dragged back. He is uh, being worked on right there. Malin is also down... And it is 15, so let me start getting the uh, reinforcements to come in. So spawn unit. Uh, we're going to go with uh, this group. Just to set that up. I don't think they have helicopter. Oh, they do. Okay. So yeah, MI-24 cargo, and then we can uh, go with the squadron. So now QRF's going to start mounting up right here, and they're going to come in. Ah, oh, that's going to add to the prison. Because I think there's three prisoners, and now there's going to be a CIA dude. What's the AI skill? It's default. I haven't even um, changed it yet, because this is a tier 4 op, so I use, like, default is 50-50-50-50. But that, they're going to probably claim the desync is what got them, but um, I fixed that. Like, I literally took away a lot of the units here. Yeah, well. this guy hugging the back of this car.
So what I'm going to do is uh, AI... Garrison this dude on Garrison that dude. Kind of send them out. Helicopter's coming in to bring QRF. And it looks like uh, that other guy is dead. Bad Wolf was losing connection. He is back. So yeah, rally point is right down there. We got a few Russians uh, moving around. So yeah, he's body bagged in the forest. They're not going to find that. And so that at least is secure. Island, so might... Now Andrews has got to be careful. He's got a hot mic. Yeah, so as it's saying, see you in debrief. Damn it, Andrews. A UND accursed hot mic. Zeus. So these guys I'm having come around. Uh, Andrews are going to try to pick Malin up. QRF's in the AO. These guys are radioing in. Outcast is also dead. Even body bag. CIA are two up. Uh, th three still alive. Two effective right now. So these guys are coming around uh, reporting. At least they should be reporting that they're okay. I'm gonna have these two guys kind of come over and have a chat. Try to figure out what's going on. They're gonna get down and wait it out. This guy's gonna join this patrol in the QRF. I'm not sure if either of them still have the, um, radio. But QRF is going to get on the scene. We're going to say this, uh, BRDM is also going to mobilize and set up a staging point right here. But hey, at least the two delusional dudes that said that there were fucking spec op boys, now they have a spec op boy. And uh, as disconnected, because he was captured. But it looks like now they are pulling away. We got these guys coming in. Would I let them do a redo or no? Um. No. This this is a live AO, and it's not like the desync was being an issue. They they even said themselves they were bringing subsonic ammunition. Subsonic ammunition with suppressors against Russian body armor is um you're gonna need a lot of bullets. I made that mistake once in um a 506 stop. I only brought subsonic ammo, and it took me like six bullets to kill um to kill a Russian dude. Like it's it's intense. But yeah, they're skylining up here, so uh, they were spotted. So these guys are going to begin assaulting. Uh, but really what got them was skylining. It was our default, my usual tier 3 default difficulty. And the skylining really got them today. So Bad Wolf, he's opening fire on him. But again, with subsonic, you're, you're better off just using regular suppressed ammo. So, you know, he's getting hit, but... You know, second one knocks him unconscious, but he's still alive because, again, subsonic ammo is not a good combo. <laughs> Whew, a thermal barrack round. You're going to hear that thunk. Oh, no, they already sighted him. Oh, bad. Well, did you fire from the body? Oh, well, shit. I'm gonna need to get the fuck out of Dodge now. Ah, 
Ah, uh, let's mobilize an MI-24 at this point. Because by now they'd say, hey, there's there's bad boys. Stop. So a cast version. They're being tracked, so they need to get the fuck out of Dodge pronto. Pop, smoke, and run. Yep, they're trying. They gotta go. They gotta go now. So this group's gonna be called to try to cut them off. Do you you have fuels? I don't know why you're not going. Do a nice little airstrike. Yeah, so they're hiding in the trees. That was just me being random based off of, you know, Russians are reporting. So they just demoed something back here, but doesn't look like it was really effective. But, I mean, if they, they're going to figure out that they were after probably that tower, because there's nothing else of value there. Yeah, they're, they're going to stay low. You should have left forever ago, so I don't know why you're still fucking here. At least we're hearing Russian comms. It was glitched out for a while and gave me uh, blue four comms. So that BRDM is now in play. Other groups are coming in. Twenty-four is flying around. He's being an idiot. They're gonna get run it. They're gonna run into these two dudes. That's just bad luck if they're spotted. They might not. No. I 
They almost got away, it's just that patrol was coming down. I'll give him that one. I'm trying to give him each benefit of the doubt that I can. You are like the worst dude ever. Like, I gave you an order to fly, like, drive around. Oh, shit. Someone just got iced. Bad wolf. Bad wolf, no. Ah. Oh. And Drews is back away. I don't even, it's not like I'm throwing hordes at him either. they're gonna call for a second squad and they're gonna be mobilized uh, literally they're gonna get dropped right on top bad wolf just got fucking shot from the hilltop so I'm gonna double tap just knock that tree over He did. Hey, I mean, sometimes they go well, sometimes you get whites. But hey, at the very least, um, they're not going to say that they're CIA. I'm going to say as, again, benefit of the doubt, as died in the car ride over. So, not everything was lost. But at least the first wave of CIA dudes was taken. But uh, again, the Russians are going to get very suspicious. So I just heard a radio order to fire. Ascendant Goat 6. Hey, Monkey, thanks for the 11 month resub, man. Yeah, we, right? <laughs> Hope you keep enjoying the operations, man. I hope you can't kick out of this one. Looks like Bad Wolf might be, uh... Crippled. Just performing cash strikes from a J attack, just spraying things around, but it looks like he was able to successfully disengage by getting across the river. And they're not going to follow him past their territory. So let's uh, let's debrief because he is pretty much safe, and that's going to be a mission fail. So it's been a while since we've had one of these, but uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the body despawned. I think they literally captured this body. All right. Well, All right. So, um, I, I wanna, I wanna ask a question first, uh, because I know we're having desync issues. Was there any desync during all of that fighting? Because I think I uh, fixed it in time. No, uh, there was a right whole lot of desync end. still. Yeah, it was. 
there was there was uh, not so much when we were assaulting the actual radio tower because the enemy was standing so what still. What happened with me that was decent when I rounded the corner after putting away my AT stick, which was the time that I went down. There was no one there in the courtyard, and all of a sudden I get down. As I think you were shot by the BTR actually, um, and the wolf bullets penetrated. Fair, but well, like desync was tremendously terrible today. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, it took about, I, I will, it took about three extra ready. seconds in order for it to register that I was putting away my AT stick, and that's when someone rounded behind me and mag dumped me. Okay. Do you want to... I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way, Leroy. When, I was, when we were, I was fighting the guys in the actual radio tower, I had no decent because they were standing still. But I, would, I noticed right at the end when those last guys came over the hill, uh, a lot of them would not really walk. They would like speed one position, the next thing can be another position. Um, and also the, the BTR when I was driving away, it wasn't like it was a bit decent when it drove away from me. I'm not sure that was just my internet or that was the server side. But literally, I saw the RPG-26 you put down, ran up and faced it, ran to the road, but the BTR was like, on my screen, it wasn't, it was a bit uh, decent so I didn't really actually hit it at all. Regardless. So yeah, there was, there was some decent. It, it did clear up when we saw the place, because the guys were standing still, though. And that's why I think it wasn't desyncing them, because they were, they were stationary guys, but as soon as they started walking around, it got a bit hairy. Regarding the opinion question of the are we just going to scrub it due to uh, technicality of late latency, or are we going to let it play through? So, I I did my best to lower the desync to something that I would consider playable. Uh, I have no idea what caused it, because we've already been using all these assets. Um, and I think it was just uh, some skins of some vehicles. So I literally, before you all came in the AO, I replaced everything with MSV copies. Uh, and I know the infantry is safe, but um, really based off of what happened, uh, I was seeing people, you know, get shot too. And it was really just um, like suppressed subsonic isn't going to do that much damage if you aim for the torso, or even the head, because of how um, the helmets work. After we broke contact when I was crossing over in the river, I made the call, everyone go loud, switch out from subsonic. Well, even then, like I was watching, like it would take up to like four bullets to kill these guys. This has yeah, been something I... that Daka has noted in the previous ops that you've been hosting. Um, in the previous op, we had to w knock down an RPG gunner, no word of a lie, four times after dumping a, um, 7.62 in his face about six or seven times. Like, don't know what's happening with the AI, and I don't know if it's a VCOM saying or whatever, but for some reason they are taking more bullets to kill and they're waking up a lot faster. I, I haven't the, changed uh, anything in terms of, like, VCOM or something. Again, this is probably why I'm going to rip it from the mod sets, because... Uh, I, and I, add, like, a ragdoll say, effect or something. Go ahead. I will say that, like, when the first guy I shot, I shot up something, he stayed down dead. Yeah. And then and then when I switched to the to the loud ammunition, like, yeah, then I shoot the guy, and I really had to make issue of people that, uh, jumping up. I did have issues that, uh, like, you know, people, you know, um, when I would when I'd shoot them, then the, then I would leave them there, then I'd wake back up. But that's just the AI being the AI. That happens if you come or not. But yeah, the, the desync was uh, a big thing. But honestly speaking, I put a bomb in the AO to make it look like it was a normal sabotage attack. So yep. other than the so, so even though they're captured as that like, literally. He's just a dude of an well, I mean, AK. Yeah, they're not going to know you're CIA, obviously. Like, yeah. as as cool. died before he even got back, all they know is the, A, yes, there are indeed, like, special boys for the insurgents. They just don't know where you're from. But they think yeah, you're so, all dead now, so. Yeah, and yeah, they had no idea what our, what our actual mission was, because yeah. I've, I've literally just pl I placed a bomb in the bunker, so they probably just think we're doing a sabotage attack. Who had the radio? Just, uh, uh, yeah, uh, as... Okay, so that they are gonna find that then, but um, yeah, but that wasn't given to us by the CIA. It was given to us by the fucking rebels in any case. So yeah, that's still rebel tech. Yeah, but need like I, I just need to know that. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to probably have some sort of session uh this week to test out more of the Vix to see what the fuck was causing that desync because. Um, I'm getting a lot of infantry errors when I look in the logs, which makes no sense when I compare them to previous logs, and I don't think anything updated, so I have no fucking clue, um, in regards uh, to what was going on. Honestly, we were, we were just thinking it was literally just a server. 
Yeah. Sometimes your server does this. It may yeah. have just been a bad. It may have just been a bad reboot from when you switched over the mod servers. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we literally were thinking that the server is not running this thing properly. We because weren't we blaming. Never had this like thing. for like for hardly like we. I was agreed that we weren't blaming you for the sync. Nah. Yes, Doug, you are being loud. Um, like we weren't blaming you at all for it. It was just probably a tech error for on their end or some shit like that. Like shit happens. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we we know that you were trying to do what you could to take care of the desync issues, um. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I do think it's either a the mods or b the server. Yeah, but that's yeah, why again, this it, like the neg it's not going to count against you that this mission failed. Like it's just going to be you know a note in the log because I I don't want this to cause you know bullshit because that's unfair. So um, yeah, yeah. yeah, like just shit happened. It's a scrub this week. Um. Mo like every unless you specifically went and grabbed the ammo cast stuff, like it was gonna be a policing action anyway, so it's perfectly fine. Um the uh like I, we've never had this issue before with this mod set. Were you using the um vehicles from the Soviets? Yeah. Do we normally use the Soviet vehicles? So when I got rid of them and switched them all out, I noticed you guys weren't heavily rubber banding anymore. Also, for some reason, VCOM started causing an infinite loop regarding rearming from vehicles, which I also noticed was causing desync. So I was able to get those two errors. That's why you weren't rubber banding like crazy anymore. But there was still some weird infantry loop that was going on. And I even deleted all the fucking mobile patrols and shit. And it didn't fix it. So I, again, I'll have to look in to see what the fuck that was causing. But it could have just been a bad boot, and I'll never see the issue again. So, yeah, it, it, by the sound of it, it, was a bad boot because like I've never noticed like an issue like that before. But it could have just been that the server didn't change the mods over properly, and that's why when you spawned in Soviet dude, it's causing issues. Yeah, because I mean, I got um, this is the actual error. So what it's basically referring to is basically units within a squad. And it's saying that it can't pro like positively identify the leading unit even though it's there. So um, again, I'll, I'll do some more testing. It's, but that's not, It's not returning null, so it, it acknowledges that something is being picked up, but it's not the correct thing that it's looking yeah, for. Yeah, so I, I don't yeah. fucking it was, know. It was... <laughs> It, no, it, 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 it definitely, it definitely was. Uh, then the the server not booting properly, and then when you spawned the Soviet infantry, which is not in the original mod set, that squad was obviously saying like, there's a, there's some there's supposed to be an infantry there, but it's the wrong one because yeah. it doesn't realize that it must be Soviet. Who the fuck knows? So, yeah, I mean, server, the server booted badly by the Soviets. Whatever, shit happens. It's just havoc being ha servers being server. Can't we don't, yeah, we anymore. don't normally get these types of issues either. But if it starts being frequent, I'll send them a ticket. But anyway, I'll I'll be RB one second. So anyway, uh, that was that was a tough op. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more testing because uh, then then again, what can you do? I'll probably go into testing and find everything's okay. Get some people on, find everything's okay. But like we've used the Soviet vehicles before, um, for this campaign for the two tier tier two ops, and it works fine. Um. We've had a shit ton of infantry fight the CIA dudes. That was last week, and it worked fine. So I, fucking hell if I know, you know? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If indeed you still are, go operate operationally. We'll have another operation at 9 p.m. EST tonight. That is the ship breaching operation. That'll be a fun one. Otherwise, take care, have a good one, and uh, operate operationally. <laughs> 40 hours of testing. Fuck my life.